Chandan and this is uh, gonna to be a tutorial series on Jenkins uh, video tutorial series on Jenkins so first of all it is my website www.wittetesting.com where you will get your required study material like uh, APM Selenium Maven Jenkins Cucumber, and also the interview question with the same and uh, here is my youtube channel software testing tutorial way to testing where you will get a uh, playlist for your required history material like APN medium test and GTC. so this is gonna to be a uh, video series on uh, Jenkins so we will cover in this series uh, some scenarios like that what is the continuous integration then what is the Jenkins and then difference between the Jenkins EXT and Jenkins star and then how to download and install the Jenkins in your machine then how to configure Jenkins then how to run the build up project uh, from Jenkins then how to send the email notification and how to configure the email notification in Jenkins then how to send the test result in emails from Jenkins so these all things we will cover in some couple of tutorials so this will be the first tutorial and from and also if you having any query or question then you can directly email to me on cjohan2811888 at gmail.com so this will be the first tutorial where we will describe on the continuous integration so i will take some uh, little example suppose that uh, there are the two developer there are the two developer uh, you can take any developer like java developer or something and they are working there are two developers this is one this is second and they are working on some project and suppose that uh, two developer whose name is suppose that the developer name is Adi and her name is Zoya and they are working on some project and uh, each of them implements a few classes code them write the unit test to ensure they are well tested after that they are think that their code is very robust they are writing some code and they are thinking that their code are very robust so they have written some couple couple lines couple of code like this one now but when they are going to integrate them the code suddenly breaks means the code of adi and joya when they are gonna to integrate the code is getting break now code is getting break now this situation come and this situation is known as integration hell it is also a good question in the interviewer in the interview where interviewer used to ask what is the integration hell so this integration hell that occurred moment near the end of the project when everyone realizes that none of their classes interoperate correctly now it is hard to find the exact problem and if find them then it is not easy to diagnose this one so to avoid such situation the concept of continuous integration has arisen means what does this mean continuous integration mm, continuous integration what does this mean this mean is that a yes, very simple definition is that uh, means integrate early and integrate often that is on every change means every time when developer pushes the new changes to the repository then project code should be checked out and it should be built or compiled and this should be run or tested so i also have uh, described a little uh, uh, description on my website if you will go on there and go to the Jenkins tutorial So if you go down, you will get an image, you will open it. So I have explained by an example, suppose that there are some developers, they are working on some uh, a project or application, they are pushing some changes or code in the project repository, then on a regular inter interval, that code is being tested and then uh, this is going to the artifact factory and then finally it is going to the deployment. So this is the core concept behind the continuous integration. Instead of adding each module at the end of the project, we are just adding each module at every phase or every completion of the piece of code. 
So this is the concept of the continuous integration. You can also find the definition which, where I have written that continuous integration is a development practice in which the developers are required to commit changes to the source code in a shared repository several times in a day or regular interval. After that, a job will be triggered by Jenkins and create a build. This concept means uh, to remove the problem of finding later occurrence of issue in the build life cycle. So this is the uh, small demo on the continuous integration. So to get rid of from this problem like the integration hell, uh, we have one tool we known as the Jenkins. So the question arises, what is the Jenkins? So simply Jenkins is an open source automated server, not the tool. It is a server which can be used to automate all sorts of tasks such as building, testing, deploying software. Jenkins is a powerful application that allows continuous integration and continuous delivery of the project regardless of the platform you are working on. It is also a very important question that interviewer used to ask why it is a platform independent. Again, the answer is same because it is a, it has the core in the name Java. So as you know that the Java is a uh, platform independent. So it is also means you can run your Java in your Linux in your Mac also as well as on Windows and also the main advantage is that it is a free open source so it can handle easily and uh, any kind of build integration why Jenkins why we need to use Jenkins because it is very easy to install later on I will show you and it has a lot of the plugins because Jenkins depends on the plugins only and uh, also it is expanding his scope by adding more plugins and which make the task easy it is built in java so it is portable and uh, to all the major platforms jenkins is a software that allows continuous integration so this is the basic thing that you must know if you are going to work with the jenkins because uh, uh, it is also a very good inter uh, good question for the interviewer then they ask the question what is the flow of the jenkins so the flow is very simple that developers check their code and made changes as required. Jenkins will pick the changes source code and trigger a build and run any test if required. The build output will be available in the Jenkins dashboard. Automatic notification can be sent back to the developer. As I will let you know, as I told you that uh, I will let you know how to send the email notification and then how to send the test result in email. So this is the basic part of the Jenkins or, or continuous integration also uh, use of continuous integration what is the use of continuous integration like automate and build make the build self testing keep the build fast everyone can see what is happening and this allow the team to detect the problem easily why we can detect the problem easily because instead of adding all the modules at the end of the project what we are doing as the module are getting completed module a is just integrated with the module b and then they will be tested then we again add the module c and then they all will be tested so instead of adding all the modules at the end we are just adding our continuous adding the module continuous integrating our module and finding the problem if any and also some other tools are in the market and like the Jenkins, TeamCity, GoCD, Bamboo and GitLab CI. And uh, here also I have given an example and what is the continuous integration, what is the workflow in the continuous integration because why I am putting these all examples because uh, also it is a very good question for the interviewer. Like that, suppose that some uh, developer has commit changes in the source code then continuous integration server come into the existence and there will be three phases the code will be built and uh, they will build the code then they will be tested and then finally it will be deployed if it is okay then it will be deployed so it's all about the continuous integration and uh, then later on we will work on the jenkins and then we will see how to download and uh, install it so it is the first video where we have uh, get a brief intro about the continuous integration and Jenkins. In the later on, we will work on the Jenkins, how to download and how to configure it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.